Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for August 13th, 2020. So it's hard to believe we're almost halfway through um, August, and um, we have a market that has just been incredibly bullish and powering higher. Yesterday, I mentioned that possibility that we could reach out for a new record high in the SPY, and we came really, really close to that, only six points away. And this morning, we have some data that we have to deal with. So what does that mean for today's open? Well, how about we settle in? Grab yourself something to drink and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, if we look at the technicals in the chart, we, we've got some data that we're going to have to chew on today. Market's going to have to grapple with. And we have some um, things in the chart that we're going to want to focus on here pretty closely. First off, if we take a look at the Dow, and let's let's just pull this back just a little bit. And our, our diamonds chart, if we look across here, draw that downtrend line, we have broken that downtrend line substantially. Now, anytime we break a downtrend and we extend up like this, we have to expect some kind of rest or pullback to occur at any potential time. And we see this pattern all over the place. You check a downtrend right here. We break the downtrend. We move through. We test it as support. It's a pretty common pattern. Break the downtrend here. Move through. Test it as support. And so we could easily see this catch some kind of a rest or a pullback in here. But I think the SPY being so close to making a new record high, I just cannot imagine institutions not working to break through there. Now, here in the Dow, as you can see, we are pushing up against a resistance level in the chart whether or not we can push through there i'm not sure but one thing for certain is they really were trying hard with the tech sector yesterday pushing things up and that little bit of bearishness that came in on tuesday afternoon really was completely reversed uh, the bulls were not having any of that um, this morning we're looking at kind of a flat open ahead of jobless claim numbers so we're going to have to stay on our toes and watch this carefully However, if we look at our moving averages and things in here, we've developed one heck of a support level in moving average area right in here. And even if we do catch some kind of a resting pullback, we have price support levels in this chart that could certainly hold us up if we do get some kind of a rest or pullback. So a selling uh, any selling in here would not be particularly bearish unless we really took off to the downside which is certainly possible with the volatility that we have in this market but i think with the s p 500 coming so close to the record high it just seems unlikely to me institutions are, are going to allow a major sell-off until they get that new record high let's take a look at the spy spy this is where all that price action is and we had this big old bear engulfing candle and I suggested yesterday the possibility that they could use that against anyone who got short early to create a bit of a squeeze pushing everyone out of those short trades and pushing for that new record high. So we closed only six points away in the S&P 500 from a new record high. We are right at the cusp of that breakout this morning. Unfortunately, we have news this morning that could, you know, well, it's actually making the uh, market kind of pause here just a little bit as we wait for that news. We'll talk about that in just a second. But if we take a look at the technicals of our chart here, we are certainly bullish. There's nothing in here that is suggesting bearishness at this point. And as you can see, we have created multiple levels of potential price support in these charts as well. So we've got lots to work with here um, in this chart. And even a rest or pullback, pulls back into here, wouldn't hurt us overall. But I suspect, um, I suspect they're not gonna let this week go by without breaking through, assuming we don't have some really bad news or something that comes along that um, harms this bullish run that we've got going right now. Let's take a look at the Qs, QQQ. 
QQQ had a nice bounce yesterday and as you can see popped right off of trend those are the kind of things we look for in a bullish chart when we get these pullbacks to price trend we would look for those opportunities for entry and price support so we've kind of got that nice little double whammy right here going on now i've been watching a bit of rotation out of some of the tech sector stocks but we certainly had a good buying um, rally yesterday in tech pushing it back up so that is a perfect potential long entry could inspire more buying coming in to the tech sector so let's watch that closely this was largely spurred by rallies in um, uh, amazon facebook microsoft really pushing pretty hard in those big five techs to uh, move us back up so hey we have a bullish pattern here in the queues there's uh, no denying it whatsoever now we do also have run that little bit of risk if we hit some bearish news remember we can always pop up in a chart and then fail um, and that's also a classic pattern uh, that gets people stuck in trades where we catch like this we pop up get that buy signal and then the selling wave comes in so watch that closely here today we're gonna have to really stay on our toes today watch that carefully let's take a look at IWM IWM has been quite strong had a little bit of selling in it yesterday once again it is up here testing a price resistance level in the chart trying to push on through whether or not we're going to be able to do that on this run right now or if we're going to need to slide into a little bit of rest or consolidation up here before we can make that move i can't tell you but let's watch that carefully if we follow this trend right here it would suggest that iwm could kind of rest here for several days um, even you know more than a week resting in here uh, for that potential move up and I think as long as we stay above price support and trend in here we're in pretty good shape on IWM as well our moving averages are certainly strong notice that our 50-day moving average is about ready to cross over it's our last lagging index to bring that 50 back above the 200 and it looks like that's likely to occur uh, possibly today um, in the chart so let's watch that carefully let's take a look at the VIX that VIX has been doggone perplexing to tell you the truth we had that big rally yesterday in in the market and yet we didn't see a big sell-off in the VIX there is some fear in here lingering around and I can't tell you I, I've mentioned this several times before the possibility that we could be having a little bit of complacency in the market it seems kind of odd talking about complacency when we're holding a 22 handle in the VIX but we're going to have to stay sharp on this and watch it because we saw on Tuesday afternoon when we got that bit of bearish um, action in the market that fear spiked up pretty quickly now we're not going to run into any major trouble here in this unless we spike above that downtrend and somehow hold it as support if that occurs then we've got some problems that we're going to have to deal with in the market if we continue this slow bleed black back down and notice that the 50-day moving average here on the vix is close to crossing down through that 200 we could finally start to see a little bit of relaxation of that volatility but we're going to have to stay on our toes because these news events and all of these things that continue to circulate around certainly create a lot of stress um, on the market as we continue to try and well we're just really kind of climbing a wall of worry right now heading into a new election waiting for congress to get their act together on the next stimulus bill we've got a lot for the market to chew on so kind of keep stay focused on that and if we look at t2122 um t2122 the four week new high new low ratio you can see we had a little bit of pulling back in that yesterday which suggests although we had that buying pressure in the market on those big techs we really had probably more stocks pulling back yesterday than going higher and that puts us in that situation where we we have 
plenty of upside room if we can find the inspiration here in the market for those bulls to push us on up. But let's keep in mind, we are up here in this bearish reversal zone. So although I believe it, it, it seems un, well, very unlikely to me that institutions are going to allow us to sell off until we get that new um, record high. But we should be on our toes and watching for that possibility that um, at any time profit taking could come in in this market. We could get a consolidation or even a, a pullback in the market. So let's stay on our toes here and watch that carefully. Let's take a look at T2101. T2101 is the um, absolute market breadth of the market. Notice that yesterday, while we were rallying really, really strongly, our market breadth did almost nothing. Um, that would suggest that we had just a few stocks, there weren't that many, really pushing the market higher. And it happened to be some of those big techs out there that were doing that job. Now we'll wanna keep an eye on this as we approach the downtrend in this chart. Um, we don't wanna see this um, continuing to rally, the market continuing to rally and that divergence um, opening up again on our rally. We'll want to watch that pretty closely um, overall. So just keep an eye on it. Nothing terrible here yet, but something we want to monitor and pay attention to. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. And we do have some things that we'll want to pay attention to on the economic calendar. We have a pretty interesting day setting up. First off, this morning, we have... Um, Excuse me. Uh, first thing this morning, we have our jobless claims number. We'll want to keep an eye on that jobless claims number. Right now, if we look at consensus, you know, it's it's really not showing us a whole lot of improvement over last uh, the last reading. So if that consensus happens to slip the wrong direction, um, or not consensus, if the actual number comes in a little bit worse than expected, that could have a little bit of a bearish effect on the market. And you can see that tentativeness this morning in the futures. Futures are basically flat, and they're flat here in the United States, and they're pretty darn flat um, in European markets right now as we wait for that data as well. So keep a close eye on that. Um, this morning when that comes out. That could be an important telltale as to which way we're going to go um, today. Also, we have to keep in mind we have a massive day of uh, bonds. And the only reason I'm bringing that up is we have, interestingly enough, we have bonds rising, uh, bond prices rallying back up a little bit um, as we um, head into um, these auctions. So we'll want to watch that pretty co closely today. Some big auctions um, going on. As a matter of fact, um, we are looking at, let me give you, you the numbers, 35 billion in eight week bonds or eight week bills, um, 30 billion in four week bills and 26 billion in 30 year bonds that will be auctioned off today. So big day in the bond market can have some currency implications and rate implications. So we might want to keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at um, some um, earnings today. We do have a, our biggest day of earnings um, this week um, is today, but we don't really have a lot of market moving um, earnings um, until maybe this afternoon. So let's take a look at a few of those that um, we have. We have AMAT. We'll want to pay attention to AMAT. Um, this has been in a very strong trend, as you can see. We're pushing back up here toward these highs in the chart, and this would be a blue sky potential breakout here. Nice, strong trend in this chart. Um, rising lows, as you can see, and we're heading into that earnings report. So it's going to be kind of critical here whether or not um, AMAT um, can push on through or not. And we saw yesterday how important that is with Cisco. Cisco was sitting in this range, pushing against those resistance highs. 
and yesterday disappointed the market and fell pretty sharply so and is expected to open up all the way down here by the way if you uh, don't know anything about tc2000 this little triangle right here um, is indicating my bid ask spread so we're looking at Cisco opening down here this morning. So you can see those earnings, we have to be really careful around them. Um, and AMAT will be one that we'll wanna pay attention to. Another will be Baidu. Baidu um, is reporting today. We'll wanna keep an eye on that. And you can see it has been trying really hard to rally. We have a pretty interesting pattern here with a bit of an inverted head and shoulders type pattern. Our neckline of that trade would be right across through here and heading into that earnings report. So if we can get good numbers on that earnings, we might pop on through up into here, start testing um, some of these uh, downtrends and breaking through, holding, see if we can start making it out out of this area right in here um, if we get some good earnings so watch that close um, Fitch is also reporting today we'll want to keep an eye on that looks like this morning it is trying to gap up just a little bit possibly it has already come out with its um, earnings report so keep an eye on that um, GLOB, not exactly one that's likely to move us around a lot in the market, but we'll want to keep an eye on this. Obviously, been in a nice strong trend here in this chart. Watch that carefully for a potential um, after that earnings report. NTES is another notable that we should stay on top of today. NTES, as you can see, nice little pattern nice little rally yesterday in anticipation of earnings holding some price support um, keep an eye on that there may be some opportunity there tpr tapestry is expected to report today um, again not probably one of those that's going to move the market around a ton but something to make note of and tk is is about um, as low as I'm ever going to consider something that might be somewhat notable, but it it's going to report this morning and we'll want to keep an eye on that. How about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up? But before we do that, guys, if you could quickly do me a favor, if you could run over there on the YouTube channel and click that big red subscribe button, I would truly, truly appreciate it. And also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the morning prep video is really to help everyone focus on the technicals of the charts, to try and avoid the hype and try and to avoid the prediction that you might see other places and if you guys find that to be helpful if you could please click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment and I want to say thank you to everyone who does do that and also at the same time apologize because I haven't been able to answer them the last few days just uh, been running back and forth to a doctor a little health issue nothing major and I want to say thank you to everyone and all the well wishes um, you guys are awesome I truly truly appreciate it um, should be back to normal soon Soon, but I will be answering those comments today. Let's take a look at um, some stocks setting up and a few that I think we need to be paying attention to. Now, I've got some bias on this. Um, I, I did pick up a position in Disney yesterday. It didn't perform uh, as well as I had hoped yesterday, but I'm not real surprised. You know, we're, we're dealing with some, a lot of back and forth in the market and we are quite elevated in our indexes and Disney is dealing with some resistance in the chart and obviously some major problems that they have you know uh, with their parks and and losses but Disney's streaming service and things are doing quite well so I want to watch this area in here I picked up a position in this looking for that possibility that this could push on through I kind of like that chart and placed an alert right in here we crossed above I picked it up pulled back and one of the things I'm always watching for for in a chart is when we break downtrend. So we break downtrend, we kind of rest and hold in here. I'm looking for that opportunity that Disney could move on higher. Now, please keep in mind that I did take a longer term position on this. So looking for a little bit of a longer term hold. Let's take a look at that Masco. Now, Masco
Bitco has been bouncing back and forth here, bouncing back and forth between these levels. We'll want to keep a pretty close eye on it, but Masco continues to set up looking pretty good in here. As you can see, nice trend. Housing has been very, very strong. So watch this in here. We're holding on to some support. I think an alert right in this area is um, a viable potential. And if that can pop on through, watch for that next leg up in Masco. Looking pretty decent overall. Take a look at um, some of the defensive sector stocks like Coca-Cola. Coke has been on a rally lately, but we're struggling here with some price resistance. I still think there is that opportunity with this little higher low that we have in here, and I should redraw this line, that little higher low that we have, that this could start forming up. Notice that we're holding on overall to a fairly significant level of price support. We just have to deal with this resistance up here. If we can push on through there, might be an opportunity. Now, I would tell you, I will be expecting some kind of a rest or pullback in here. Um, um, in this chart as it builds the energy to move higher. But let's keep an eye on stocks like Coca-Cola looking pretty decent overall. We also want to take a look at some of those tech sector stocks that were very, very strong yesterday. Take a look at Nvidia here. Big billet, bullish engulfing candle. And what I love about a chart like this is it's responding directly to price support and also trend. Beautiful Morningstar type pattern here showing strength. Keep an eye on Nvidia. I could say the same for a Microsoft getting a nice little bounce back up here, holding in a support area. This has more of a challenge because we've struggled up here at this high, but holding that higher low, as you can see right in here, bulls stepping back in. We could get that rebound coming here in Microsoft. Um, Amazon, very strong yesterday. This has been an interesting chart in that we've got basically a quadruple top failure up here, but notice we can't make any new lows. And so this continues to hold up. We keep winding up this wedge in here. I don't know if we can get enough bullishness in here to pop this out. We want to watch this for that potential to go either direction in the chart. So keep an eye on Amazon. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. And I want to um, just shout out to everyone a, a big thank you for the kindness that you've shown me why I've had this little struggle with health. It's it's nothing major, nothing to worry about. Um, just haven't been feeling all that well. And so thank you to everyone who does do that. You guys are awesome. Stay safe. Let's have a great day in the market. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Take care, everyone.